All right, we've been intentionally avoiding talking about the init method for a little while until we've built up somewhat of a foundation with classes. And now I want to fill in the gaps. Let's talk about the init method. It is, uh, it could be also called a constructor, although we're more technically correct to call it in Python, just the init method. It's just responsible for initializing values for objects we create. And uh, technically, it's not responsible for creating the object. There's something called the new method that's behind the scenes that does that. So we shouldn't really call it a, a constructor, but if you're coming from learning other programming languages, you may be fami familiar with that term. And yes, it does serve a similar purpose. Um, so here in this example, we have our init method and we initialize these attributes of our object. So every new object that gets created, this init method will automatically be called. It will automatically be run. Um, and it will initialize these values, create these variables for us within our object. It's not necessary to create an init method if we don't want to initialize any attributes um, when we create objects. I can show you that here. Um, so we could, for in our animal class, for example, we could delete the init method uh, we wouldn't be able to use this function or this uh, this method because we don't have a self.type. We don't have a self.sound a variable. So we'll comment that out. But but we could still create an animal um, instance of the animal class. We would just delete these arguments because we're not in initializing them. So if we run that, there's nothing happening, but it runs. Um, so we see we can create classes without the init method. However, in most instance, instances, we'll probably be wanting an init method so that our objects can have these variables and they can access them. So that's it for the init method. I hope that rounds out, uh, fills out that gap that we've been having around init and why we use it. And typically this will be uh, the first method in our class.